Welcome to the Tri-Wizard Tournament. Play all three of the Tri-Wizard Tournament tasks, or choose to evade a fierce attack by the Hungarian Horn-Tailed Dragon in order to retrieve the Golden Egg. Avoid the Grindylows and Merpeople in the lake to rescue that which has been taken from you and will be sorely missed. Play as a Hogwarts, Bow Battens, or Durmstrand student in this enchanted maze to overcome all that stands between you and reaching the Triwizard Cup. Hey there, my little Redbots, this is Red Jealous Play, and finally, after talking about it, hit through the hole. Through the hole of the of the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Disc 2 content that we've been through. We are finally getting to the to the Tri to, to the challenge of the Tri Wizard Tournament. Now if you select the the Tri Wizard Turn any three if you select to uh, enter any th of three branches the the dragon challenge the lake challenge or the maze challenge you'll always be brought here the options as I said are, are if you select Hogwarts you play through all three or you can select one of the three you play However, if you play the, if you if you play the maze challenge by itself, you're given different different look, different things depending on what what school you select. If you play it from the challenge playlist, you'll you'll immediately be given Hogwarts as your school. So let's begin the the dragon task. Welcome to the first task of the Tri Wizard Tournament. Here you will face a highly ferocious dragon. You have pulled out the dragon you will now face, the Hungarian Horntail. Your challenge is to avoid the dragon's attacks and collect the golden egg it guards. Of course, your Quidditch skills are likely to come in handy. Use the directional keys on your remote to dodge the Hungarian Horntail's attacks and navigate your broomstick to seize the golden egg. When you see this symbol appear on screen, use the remote to move over the golden egg and press Enter to snatch the egg from the dragon and complete the task. Good indeed. So there's a big tail on the. Good heavens, you can really fly that broomstick. So there's a big tail as to... on the thing as to what you sh dare. what direction we should go. You should always go in the in the direction that's highlighted that's very in white. Brave. Never move. Now I've always been able to seize the egg in one shot. Because look at that. But because I'm I'm one show. That was excellent. I'm gonna be truck. You're going to seize the golden egg in no time. So there's one time round. Very good indeed. And you keep going around it until you seize the egg. Good heavens, you can really fly that broomstick. Well done, that certainly took some courage. Congratulations, you've seized the egg. Welcome to the second task of the Tri Wizard Tournament. You'll be using Gillyweed to breathe underwater for the limited time you will have to recover what has been taken from you. Don't forget the lake is filled with magical creatures you've never encountered on dry land. Keep your wand at the ready. 
Use the left, right, up and down buttons on your remote to avoid any underwater obstacles. When you come upon magical creatures in the lake, use the left and right buttons on your remote to select either your wand or the golden egg to evade that creature. One, two, three. So again, there's a big tell as to what direction you should go. It's always the direction of the biggest arrow. So these mermaids, you have to get rid of them with the egg. Yes, there you go. That was close. So if you try mashing the directional button in question, you'll only lose. Now, okay. You now, are brave, aren't you? That, those Grindelows can have to be attacked with by the wand. Well done. That was close. Right, another mermaid. Hey, let's use the egg. Just a little further. A little bit further. Oh, shark thing. You successfully navigated the murky waters of the lake. With your help, everyone was rescued. Welcome to the third task of the Tri-Wizard Tournament. Here, you will confront a vast enchanted maze. As a Hogwarts student, you'll have several spells at your disposal to use against the obstacles you'll encounter in the maze. Choose wisely. Stupefy. This spell stuns your opponent. Impedimenta. This jinx will temporarily slow down your opponent. Expecto Patronum. This charm conjures a Patronus, which can be helpful against Dementors. Select this icon to let go or release. Select this icon whenever you need a reminder about what each spell does. Good luck. So, I, I have something to say. Hey, but, but I need to be reminded of some, something for it, for it, so, so I'm gonna have to cut to the future to do it, do it, cut away now. Alright, so I'm back, hack, and, uh, I was just going through all the unique spells each school gives. The three icons that are exactly the same, no matter what school you're you're representing are uh, the uh, Expecto Patronum, which conjures a Patronus, which can be helpful against Dementors. Let go. It's be It's basically in not letting Devil Snag get you. And the one where you look, where you remind yourselves of the effects of your loadout. And as you heard, uh, Hogwarts has, has Stupefy, which will tempor temporarily stun on the target, and Impedimenta, which will, which will temporarily slow the, slow the target. Though Batons have, inste have instead of Stupefy, Impedimenta, and instead of Impedimenta, Wingardium Leviosa. Which, as everyone knows, is used for levitating. Derm strings, instead of Superfy, have Petrificus Totalis, which causes a full body bind, and Incendio, which conjures flames. So let's make our way forward. Actually, we can't, so. Let's make our way through the maze. Every time you face a spider, you have to go for the top spell. That's Stupefy, Impedimenta, and Petrificus Totalis. Stupefy. Depending on whether you're a Hogwarts, Burbatten, or Derm Strange student, respectively. I have no idea if this score was used in, in the movie. Okay, here's a Dementor. So obviously you want to use your Patronus here. Expecto Patronum. Okay. 
So as you saw, if you if you go the wrong way at one of these turnouts, you meet you immediately go, oh no, it's the other way. But and then immediately turn them around. Every time you reach something like this, you have to let go. Let go. It's basically like devil snare. I have no idea where we're going and going. And here's another Dementor, let's Patronus it out of here. Specto Patronum! Specto Patronum! I do hope I'm not doing all the work. But you guys should have your wands at the ready. The score feels like it's out of like medieval PS2 game. Another spider. Alright, here we go. So, spells are coming out, and again, if you want to use Stupefy if you're Hogwarts, Impedimenta if you're Bobatons, and Petrificus Totalis if you're Dermstrain. Anyways, here we go. Stupefy! Okay, another Dementor. Everyone wants at the ready. Prepare your Patronus. Mine is a Black Mare, if you remember. And Expecto, Expecto Patronum. Patronum! All right. So as long as you know what spells to, to use against what enemies, you should do fairly... You should do fine here in the maze. Anyways, here's the yellow stuff again. Now let's get ready to let go. Let go. Oh, I forgot to mention this. The scroll that ha has your spells and stuff is uh, different depending on your school. Like if you have a Bobat Hattons one, it's blue. If you have a Dermstrain one, it's like purple. And if you're and if you're Hogwarts, you get regular old parchment as you see here. Anyways, here we go. Uh, as before, Stupefy is a spell for Hogwarts. Stupefy. Stupefy. Alright, moving onwards. From personal experience, it's very rare that you have to use a spell that's in the second slot, like the Impedimenta for Hogwarts, Wingardium Leviosa for Bobat, and, and uh, Incendio for Dermstrings. It's very rare that you, that you have to... From personal experience, it's very rare for you to have to use that spell. Very well played. You are a true champion. Congratulations! You've successfully completed the interactive Triwizard Tournament and reached the Triwizard Cup. Further adventure awaits you in Little Hangleton. You seen Okay, so you see now that there's a snake floating above uh, a bunch of footsteps leaving, leading to a graveyard. Yes, yes, there is a further stage to this challenge in Little Hangleton. You may have seen it in the menus for the, me for the maze. Well, I don't exactly remember its name. I do know that... that 
it should be particularly fast to cover. So, let's go with it then. You can only unlock the ability to play this challenge from the map after you complete the full Triwizard Tournament playlist, like the, the one with the Triwizard Cup. Alright. So with all that said and done, let's away to Little Hangleton by, by Triwizard Cup Port. Oh dear. The Triwizard Cup is a port key which has taken you to the village of Little Hangleton. That means that you are in a great deal of danger. Lord Voldemort's Death Eaters have assembled here to witness his return. So, if you want to return to Hogwarts alive, you will need to find the Triwizard Cup again. This graveyard is full of Death Eaters. They'll try to use the Cruciatus Curse on you, so keep your wand at the ready. The Expelliarmus charm will disarm a Death Eater, so wait until your wand is pointed directly at one, then quickly press the Enter key on your remote control. Also, watch out for Voldemort's snake, Nagini. Nagini is close by and is surely waiting to strike. Remember to watch this indicator. If it gets too low, you'll run out of energy and won't be able to continue. Right, so you see that there's a target indicator? Expelliarmus. You have to wait until it's exactly on your target to start sh to start Expelliarmus. Keep your wand at the ready. To start Expelliarmus. Start casting your spell. Oh. Expelliarmus. Anyways, the spell that you have to Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Incredible spell casting. So, in the past, I've tried to mash the button, but that doesn't work as well. You'll soon be back at Hogwarts. All right. Crucio, that must have hurt. Well, that didn't work as well as I thought. Expelliarmus. You've made it quite far, but now you must survive a final encounter with Nagini in order to reach the Triwizard Cup and return to Hogwarts. Beware. Without warning, Nagini will strike at you. Use the left and right arrow keys on your remote to dodge Nagini's attacks. Once you have successfully dodged an attack, you will have a chance to use the arrow keys on your remote to cast at Nagini. Wait for Nagini to pause, then move your target over Nagini and press Enter to cast the Stupefy spell. Be sure to keep an eye on your indicator. You'll only be able to survive Nagini's attacks as long as you have energy left. Alright, so... You'll be able to tell from, wh from which direction Nagini will attack from. So you have to always dodge in the direction. Your energy is depleting. Oh. I'll cut to the point. Well, that didn't go as well. So I'll cut to the point where to the showdown with Nagini. You only have. You only have energy enough to take three hits. Stupid. And Great once... Cast. Once Nagini stops, the target indicator has to be Your above her head. Oh, okay. Stupid. So you can tell when she's going to strike when she starts hissing at you. Brilliant move. Alright, and there's the cup, and stupefied. 
Congratulations! You've escaped the graveyard and made it safely back to Hogwarts. So it's finally done! We finally addressed the challenge of the, of the Triwizard Tournament. I almost said Philosopher's Stone. And my bat had on my part. And, and we ha have completed the all and shown off all the content in the disc 2 for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry's fifth, fourth year, I mean, at Hogwarts. Going into ha going into the fifth year, the Order of the Phoenix. What? That there's going to be not much, if any at all, uh, interactive content. So. So your interest may not be exactly piqued by them. Nevertheless, yes, I feel obligated to do them. Him. So, so if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button, share the videos, favorite videos, do all this stuff. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. Your support and pre and uh, feedback is always appreciated. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll be and I'll be seeing you guys He's in year five, the Order of the Phoenix. Till then, till then, peace.